<laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good to see you. Good to pleasure to be here. Um, and I get bonus points for being under 10 minutes. I was told yesterday, so um, I will wish whiz through. So, uh, who am I? Right. That's me. I'm Peter Fox, leader of the council, blah, 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 and uh, I'm also a farmer. Uh, that's a Twitter link, obviously, as you can see. Um, I'm not a big Twitter, 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 um, but I'm getting bigger. And I've got 531 <laughs> followers at the moment. Well, that's probably a network of about 10 million people. I don't know, but it's a huge one. It's twice as many people already follow me that I had elected, had elected for me. <laughs> so, very clearly, I've got more people I can engage with now. And some of them may be my constituents, but not many. But uh, as a leader, I think it's a really important tool. Anyway, I wasn't supposed to speak on that too, too <laughs> long, so we'll shift on. Um, okay, so we need to go where people go. And uh, I think we recognise that, you know, nowadays people don't want to spend all day looking at our website, scrolling through PDFs. We need to be where they are. They want to find useful, concise bits of information where they visit regularly. And we know where they live, because probably all of your families sit on Facebook when they're watching telly, communicating to each other. They're on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they're watching YouTube, they're doing lots of stuff like that. Other, other types of social media, internal stuff. And that's where we need to be, because we need to be in there with that communication, involved in that debate. Because if we don't, the debate's going to be had anyway, and we need to be in there to help influence uh, that debate. Um, and, you know, if we're outside, you've got to be in it to win it, basically, or to influence it. So, people want to contribute to community life, and I think that's right. We hear a lot about apathy, about people aren't interested in politics. Well, yeah, that's rubbish. They really are in interested in things which are important to them. That may be their community, maybe interest groups, it, whatever it is. They are interested and they will participate and they will give you feedback on things that are interested. But you need to know what they are and you need to uh, be in there working with them. Because those people who don't really get engaged may get engaged there. We're using already the, um, you know, they're giving the opportunity for people to talk to our officers. Um, who are currently engaged on likes of Twitter and Facebook to give them direct answers to key things. Uh, we have from Helen here today but, uh, from our communication. She runs a Twitter account and she's constantly fielding information out to staff and, and officers to, you know, so we're getting an immediate response to, to key, key areas. And we cut out the middleman, all that rubbish, you know, you've got to go straight, you can get straight there, but people can get answers very quickly. This is an important date for Monash here. This was in January 2011. We lifted all IT restrictions on social media for all staff. All staff can access Twitter, Facebook, whatever they want, whenever they want. It's absolutely key for us that our staff know as much about what's happening in the community as the community do themselves. How are they going to respond if they don't? You know, so they really do need to, to go on online, they need to be uh, given access to the tools that they, they, can, they can use to enhance the, the life of citizens in, in Monmouthshire. So everybody in the county, uh, everybody in the council now can connect all the time. So you often see people tweeting away, or they're on Facebook, they're looking, looking up things, that, you know, they are engaging without really realising how much they are actually engaging there. It's humanising. And that is, that's a really good point, because if you think about it, um, you know, councils are just those horrible organisations where you get negative feedback, they don't respond, they're not really human. Well, the reality is, yes, we are human. Organisations with many, many personalities involved, all different, very real human people, who are within that organisation. And, you know, I, that's one of the reasons I started tweeting, and some of you may follow me, I don't know, sorry if I don't know, but you may follow me after today, I don't know, but I tweet about lots of stuff. I'm the leader of a council, but I tweet about my farm, I tweet about my family, I tweet about X Factor, I tweet about uh, the council as well. Absolutely fundamental um, to me. 
And what it does, I believe, it's actually um, showing people who do follow me that I'm actually a real person. I'm not just a suit who wheeled out and wheeled back in. Um, you know, I've got a life. I'm interested in things. You know, I have to pick my kids up from Cardiff because I can't afford a taxi home and all that sort of stuff, which all of you probably have to do as well at times, unless you're in North Wales and you would curse. Um, but, um, <laughs> but, you know, all of those sorts of things. And, you know, X Factor, really important, but don't do it when you've had a bottle of wine, because you might say so, you should come back, and I've done that. Um, so you have to learn about the, learn about the barriers and the, the protocols around using it as well. It's really important. But through building that personality, um, people understand you as a normal person, and you can actually start introducing key messages about what you're doing within the council as well and and that actually gives you know it's an opportunity again to send out those key messages to the people that we serve so why learn from an authority next door when we can seek out the world's best thing as an organization to learn and work with I'm not saying there's anything wrong with learning from your neighbours next door, there's lots of good practice next door, but the social media unlocks a huge potential of other leaders and influencers. Even if you follow them on Twitter, it might be people in there, they might never follow you, but you'll follow them, you'll be picking up pearls of wisdom, different, th different thoughts, um, opportunities to see how other things are done, and they'll influence your own mind or your staff's mind how they, and, and how they may address other situations. It actually enriches. I think the experience of, of, for the staff and, uh, and then on obviously into, into our communities. So, you know, accessing the world and all that it offers really can add value to your uh, organisation.